Hi you guys, today we're going to be making the 3D flower. I'm using an 18 by 24 canvas and felt fabric. First thing I'm going to do is create the pattern for my petal to my flower. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the canvas. I'm gonna use three canvases, it's going to be three flowers. So I'm just going to show you how to do the first flower and you'll just duplicate it. Okay, so I'm using the piece of paper as my pattern to create the shape of my petal. Oh, I decided I don't want the middle part. This is the shape that I would like. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this shape throughout. Go ahead and cut all your petals out at one time. This will make it easier so that you're not stopping to cut, stopping to cut different petals while your glue gun is hot. You want to just continue to go. Okay, so you want to cut a slit down the middle about four inches long, depending on the size of your petal. These petals are about eight by, maybe eight by seven. And you wanna go ahead and take that flap and fold it over and use the glue gun to seal it. And this is gonna just create dimension for your, your petal, which will create dimension for your flower. Because we want that 3D effect. We want it to sit out. We don't want our petals to be just flat. Okay, this part that I'm cutting out is gonna be the center, the center of my flower. It'll make sense in the end when you see me. You're not gonna cut the, the fold because you want it to open up. You want two leaves to be on one petal. Just continue to watch and you'll understand. All right, so just go ahead and watch exactly what I do. This is gonna be my center. I like to go ahead and create my center in the beginning of my flower because once I'm finished, I just like to sit the center right inside. I don't wanna have to do the center, so just follow exactly what I'm doing. I'm rolling it, and then I'm gluing it. I'm taking the other side, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So you're just gonna roll it inward and glue it. Roll that side and glue it. Just that easy, and you're gonna continue that process. All right, so let's get started. Go ahead and glue them down exactly how I'm doing it. This is my first time, you guys. So just follow what I'm doing. I don't have an exact method. I'm, this is my, this is, well, this is my second time. So just follow exactly what you see me do. I haven't completely gotten the method as far as the glue gun, so I have to use several different glue guns because as you squeeze the glue, it tends to get to a part where it's hard because it hasn't been melted. So you may need a few glue guns, you know, unless you don't mind waiting. So I just already had two other small glue guns, so I just kind of rotated them. Continue the same process going all the way around. And I just put them in between each one. Just like you see. So continue the same process. Just have fun with it. You'll get better and better. I can even see myself getting better each time I do it. And it's so beautiful in your house, so beautiful. As long as you use the right, the right um, fabric, it, it looks beautiful. And just continue the same process all the way around. Just have fun.
so I'm getting pretty close to the center to where I'm gonna add my center in the middle right so you want it to look full so if you have to add more petals to the outside of your center continue to add petals to the outside of it because you want it to when, when you sit the center inside of the flower you want it to sit right by the leaves so that it looks pretty and drop glue in the middle just put glue in the middle or either put it on the bottom of the center and sit it in there it looks so beautiful if you think it looks beautiful it looks more beautiful in person thank you guys for joining me leave some comments below like share subscribe thank you guys bye